Hello, Kelly Lee here from Root Pursuit. Today, we are looking at the top 10 ways to use your antiquarian sticker book in your junk journals. So, these are just a few tips. So, the first tip is use the same or similar background as uh, the sticker as your background paper that you're putting it on there. So as you can see, um, some of them are pink, some of them are purple, some of them are green, some are black. So this one, I used the pink background and this one had like a white creamish background. So there's number one. All right, number two, lay the sticker on book pages. So stickers on book pages, it gives it that really good vintage junk journal look. So that's number two. Number three, distress around the image with brown ink to blend this, um, the sticker into the background. So here's one I used and you can see I did the, black, the brown um, ink and then I also took a, um, a marker uh, brush one and highlighted this border. On this one, I just went around with a uh, brown as well to kind of uh, tone down and blend in with the background a little bit. Okay, number four, use the same color of Distress Ink as your background. So this one was pink. I don't know if you can see the original background was pink and I used my blue uh, ink to, I did trim the edges on this one and then I did the, the blue ink around the edges to just kind of blend it in and make that feather look like it was floating. All right, number five, that is also trim the border. So here's a great example of two different flowers that were on the same page. And this one has the border on it, and this one I trimmed the border off. So number five is trim the border off of the sticker. Number six, layering. Uh, layering for the circular ones, and then you could just put it on a frame, which is what I did here. It was a little frame that I had from some kit. So those, and then you can just add them as embellishments into your book. You could do, you could make that into, you know, an invisible paper clip or something like that. So that is number six. Number seven, combine a, a focal point sticker with a smaller accent sticker. So this one here, I made this bigger sticker here, the focal point, I did add a border around it and then I added a smaller focal point sticker to the edge. All right. Now, this one's number eight. Combine the dark and bizarre with the feminine and frilly to create something new. So this one here was this, uh, some strange animal. I don't know if it's a porcupine. Maybe it's a porcupine. Anyway, and it was very dark and black. And so I, I added a, to a floral background and then added the flower on top of it to sort of create this more feminine thing instead of that dark black, uh, whatever that is, hedgehog, I don't know, porcupine. All right, so I, I thought that turned out really nicely. All right, number nine, add symmetrical stickers to the rectangle decorative accent stickers to add a accent header. So here's uh, one example of that. All right. And finally, number 10, add washi tape to hold down your sticker on book pages. So I just have a couple of examples of that here. All right, so that's 10 ideas for using uh, your stickers in your antiquarian sticker book. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, to wrap up, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. That would be really helpful. And to be notified about our upcoming videos. Uh, videos come out every other day. You can check out my Etsy shop and the link is in the description. Uh, thanks for coming along. Talk to you later.